Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's project. And today's project is I am making eyes. And these coasters are meant to make evil eyes or nazar. You can say uh, it's a omen. Yeah. If uh, if you believe in, otherwise these are eye coasters or you can make anything out of them. Really not to be specific. And but I will be making an eye out of them. And I will be using a technique later on. You will see. And I got these molds from bbcraft.com. They have amazing molds on their website and I have made few videos before with their molds as well. And I will link all the details in my description. And there is a lot available on their website including jewelry items, jewelry findings and a lot for hobbyists. So let's start the project. I am opening my molds, taking out each of them from the packet. So a lot of thought go got into these molds. I was thinking of something making different out of them uh, instead of just a straight eye. So a few steps are involved. So let's start. So these are my molds all set up and actually they have some technique to them. Not that much difficult but as you, I will make and you will see. And I have mixed here black raisin. And it's just simple black resin and I have mixed two colors black and blue for the outer ring I'm making the black and for the center I will be doing blue uh, the blue is a bit on the darker side so I'm just filling up the sides the outer edges of the mold so there is so much to do with this mold and I was thinking of different ways how to how we can make different molds out uh, designs out of this mold. So for this starter up I got this idea and I'm making it. So I don't have sturdy hands. I do spills here and there for so forgive me for that. For the center I'm adding the blue here. So I got a spill there and so I need to clean it up and with the wet pipes I will be doing so. So just trying uh, to be careful not to do over spilling again. So I need to clean that up and I will be cleaning it with a wet pipe very slowly. So I have uncured black resin as well here so it's I just need to be careful here. So I hope I could clean it well without disturbing the black resin. And you can see as I'm cleaning I'm getting that black moving a lot. So I've just cleaned it and now I'm adding the rest of the blue into the center of the eye. So my, while pouring the blue, you can see I have a spill here, but I will leave it to cure because I am not pouring anymore. So I, when this dries up, I will just remove it with the sticky tape. At this point, I just, I, this part, step one is done. So I will leave this to cure. So this is the next day and you can see that these spills are cured. I, what I will be doing is I will be taking a sticky tape here. So this is very easily I have removed the cured resin from the mold. So in this way you can remove excess resin if you have edge on the edges or anywhere. 
and here I got some as well. Some of the pieces are stubborn, so I'll just move it with the hand. So that piece really don't want to come off. Yeah, I tried hard, but yeah, now it's done. So after doing that, I will be pouring the layer on top. And this time I will be doing it white. So I mixed my resin and I added white to it. So here I'm just topping it with the white resin. And then I will leave it to cure. This is the second step and this is the next day and we will be preparing these for the third step. I will be demolding them first. So this is how it turned out. It's really simple now. So as I said that I mixed the blue really dark so yeah at this time I can see the black and the blue are looking the same. So they all are demolded now and for the fourth step now or sorry the third step or the fourth third one. What I will be doing is I will be filling the center with the black one, black color. As we are making an eye, so that's why I do, I'm doing it black. So I wanted to create an uh, interesting effect into the resin, into these eyes. So I thought I give it a bit of gemstones effect. So this beautiful glitter, golden glitter was given to me by Michelle. I had an order with her. So yeah, these were so amazing. I really wanted to mix them and I have mixed them in pirate crystals. And I'm pouring a little bit of resin in it. I really don't want them to be overflowy. So I'm just adding a little bit of resin just to gather everything together. So if I need more resin, I will be pouring it slowly. I think I need a little bit of more resin, that's it. Because I don't want them this mixture to be flowy. And after that, I will be using, a, with the help of a stick, I will be adding it to the edges of this center of the eye. I don't want to fill it up, just the edges, because I want this white part to be shown. So it's really an idea that I thought in my mind and I wanted to recreate it, because, but again, it's reason and reason has its own mind, as I always say. 
So you think something and the reason is thinking something else. So I tried my best here. So I will be adding these to the rest of the eyes as well. So after this step, I will leave it to cure and see you next day. So this is the next day and my layers are cured here. Now I will be filling all this with the clear resin. So my aim here is to fill up the center of the space that is empty, the white one. And where the golden part is and i'm just filling it up and i will again leave this layer to cure so after filling that up i will leave this layer to cure and see you next day so this is the next day and this is really the interesting day that all i was doing for so today i will be using that secret ingredient these are the magnetic pigment you can uh, call them cat eye pigment pigments as well so i have these magnets and now the magical process will begin i have some resin in my container here so i have to be careful the main thing is that i really didn't want it to uh, cover that white part here so again it's resin so i will try my best so I will be using these two colors on the top, the green and the blue. And these are the magnetic pigments. So these were from Just For You Online UK. So I will link them below. If I find them, they are still selling them. Or otherwise, I will find on Amazon and I will link it in the description where you can buy these. So I have been playing with magnetic pigment for a long time. And I really love this circular effect that they create, the aura effect, you can say. So here you can see I have taken both of them and I'm mixing them a little in a little bit of resin. So I have two magnets here and they are really powerful. You need a really powerful magnets for this technique and they are under my coasters now and now I will be adding some clear resin into the center. Actually I have already added the clear resin into the center and I am doing an outer outline with the pigment, the mica pigment of the magnetic pigment and you can see the ring will be forming here in a second when all the magnetic pigment will gather and on the outside I am pouring the clear resin. You can see the ring is forming. So my place here was not that balanced. So I just moved these uh, immediately when I made. But you can see the ring has been formed here. So I need to take these away from a place where they can be centered. Because you can see that my resin is going everywhere. It is filling that white area that I really wanted, didn't want it to do it. So... So on to the next two coasters because I had two magnets only so I cured the first two and then I'm doing the same with the other two as well. So I'm mixing my magnetic pigment here. So...
and these are the magnets that i will be using and you can see the magnet as i'm showing you it forms a ring suddenly as the magnet gets underneath so fun to play with and because the circles do move you can do two circles three circles depending on the size of magnet you have i have made few videos on with this technique i will link all of them i made an, another eye with coaster and then uh, another decoration item a piece as well so i will link the videos and few years back i did work with the uh, magnetic nail polishes as well you can see the cat eye ones and i made a, a black hole with them so it's been really lo long time when i used the magnetic nail polish so i will link that as well the cat eye you can see so now i'm pouring the clear resin into the center and carefully i will be adding the outer ring now because i really don't want to cover the white but let's see this is resin sometimes things are complicated you they really don't go as you are thinking about them and again i'm using resin here and then magnetic pigments and there are magnets underneath that are controlling the resin here now so so much is going here so now you can see the rings are forming but uh, when i poured little resin uh, the rings are not getting so clear so i had to pour some more so, so to get the solid ring So I am just setting it now and after that I will be pouring a clear resin on the outer edges and then I will leave everything to cure. And the magnets will remain underneath the whole time, the 24 hours, until the, my whole layer is cured. You don't, have, you don't have to remove the magnets otherwise the ring will not form. So this is something really important to note. So now I will leave everything to cure, it, uh, it will center itself. And now everything has been centered, you can see my they are all done and formed. Now the, it's time to do the final top coat here. So you can see actually these coasters did take me some time to make some days actually. And with the isopropyl alcohol I will be wiping it, wiping them and then I will do, be doing the top coat. So now I am adding the top coat here. and then i will leave them to cure and see you next day next day they are all cured now i got a very beautiful finish but now i need to add some something to this and uh, for this i am adding the gilding glue to the edges
and I will be doing it to the all four other three coasters and leave it to dry and it will get sticky. So after a few hours it's been sticky and transparent. Now I'm using this mirror gold and I will be applying it very carefully and gently rubbing on the coasters and my gold will transfer to the sticky gilding paste. And this is the final step now and now we will all see how they turned out so get ready. So this is how they turned out and they really look so beautiful in the sun. The rink moves itself and it creates an illusion. It's science, reason and magic here. I really love to add some extra touches to my resin pieces. So this is one of them and so yeah I tried my best and I think it looks like the, I was successful in keeping some of the white here. So I'm really happy about it and so yeah that's it so if you like this video please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing do so and also thank you so much for your kind feedback and your lovely lovely comments i always love them thank you so much take good care of yourself bye bye